Oh, Tim from Fairplay now on the 14th of May, 2022. Now, because I don't watch much TV, I'm going to talk about something a little bit different here, but I'm just not interested in modern TV programmes and films. So when the people involved in them uh, are doing something or something happens to them, yeah, I'm not really that interested, to be fair. But many, many years ago, when I was kind of in my uh, sort of pre-teens, teens, early 20s, uh, there were a couple of shows in particular, uh, particular that absolutely, I absolutely loved them. And one of them was The Sweeney, and the other one was a programme called Minder, two excellent British uh, sort of television series. Um, the Sweeney ran from 1975 to 1978, and Minder uh, 1979 until uh, well, what's relevant for this until about the sort of late 80s, um, because both of those shows featured an actor called Dennis Waterman who played pivotal roles in both of them. And the reason why I'm, I'm mentioning him is because sadly he has passed away uh, just this week, age 74, and uh, from lung cancer, I believe it is, uh, which isn't surprising when you see how much uh, they smoke in uh, uh, the Sweeney, especially. But uh, um, yeah, the. Because those two programs were really key to my sort of development and nurturing, uh, you know, unlike most of these other actors and actresses who pass away and are not over... Obviously, I don't like to hear about them passing away, but I'm not overly concerned. But um, Dennis Waterman's passing has affected me because his shows played a real big uh, sort of part in my earlier life. And I'm going to leave a link to an episode of each of these shows in the comment section and the description box below because uh, uh, they are both on YouTube, so you can watch them here. And uh, I'll put uh, the Sweeney at the top first of all, and you can watch that. Uh, the Sweeney was like this uh, kind of uh, real cops and robbers show with a... Um, because it's British, it's all based around London, and, you know, uh, it was sort of a real kind of uh, uh, hardcore, sort of gritty uh, sort of police show. And I think it was one of the first uh, British um, shows, police shows that were made that showed kind of the police in a slightly different light to what they've been portrayed before. They Before they were sort of portrayed in this very, you know, kind of friendly British Bobby on the beat sort of way. And um, this was sort of much more, you know, kind of go after the criminals and beat them up. <laughs> you know, uh, they weren't afraid of being and acting like sort of real men in this show. You know, if they saw, saw a robber, you know, they'd sort of, you know, the fists would start flying and they'd sort of, people would sort of beat each other up and before the uh, police kind of apprehended the criminals and carted them away. But uh, uh, So that was the Sweeney, uh, real gritty police show. And Minder, uh, well, Dennis Waterman and the guy that he played uh, acted alongside George Cole, who played the main character, Arthur Daly, uh, we're kind of on the other side of the law in this one. Um, this Arthur Daly character was kind of a small-time crook and uh, in London, and they used to have, well, they, they, they sort of guys probably still do have them, uh, kind of bodyguard types uh, called minders in London parlance, and that part was played by Dennis Waterman. And... Yeah, you know, uh, excellent shows. If, and if you want to get an idea of what British life was like in the 70s and kind of first half of the 80s, 
you know, watch these shows, uh, the Sweeney and Minder, because you'll get a really good idea of, um, uh, yeah, what it's like. So if you're from abroad or you're too young to remember those days or even the shows, uh, so do have a look. I think it will be a bit of an eye opener. And uh, by the way, if you're expecting any kind of political correctness, uh, no, it doesn't happen in these shows. Political correctness didn't exist back when these uh, shows were made. And yeah, um, some of it is a little bit cringeworthy, uh, especially in the Sweeney and the early episodes of Minder. They come out with some stuff that even I find cringeworthy now, looking back on it. Uh, not that I'm exactly the most political correctness type of guy, as you all know, uh, but I do believe that uh, there was a place for earlier political correctness, you know, back when it was just about giving everybody uh, a fair sort of go, um, treating everybody equally and with equal amounts of respect. I'm, I'm all for that, uh, but, well, as you know, and I don't really need to tell you, uh, political correctness, and it's much more rabid, uh, close cousin wokeism, has obviously gone way too far, and, yeah, I think things are sort of just have just swung too far in the opposite direction and yeah when you just think that you can't even say anything without stopping and thinking oh you know is this going to offend someone is this going to get me into trouble uh you know if i say this thing or i say that thing um you know what's going to happen to me uh you know that's not that's not a healthy society and just looking back on how people used to behave and act uh, sort of in the 70s and the 80s kind of just shows you how far we've gone. Yes, we had to move on a little bit from there. Uh, you know, if you watch a lot of these shows, you'll see that uh, there are some uh, terrible bits in it. And we, you know, it's good that we have moved past that sort of stuff. But we've gone way too far the other way and there's just too much political correctness and certainly too much wokeism around. And, you know, I think when you watch uh, uh, these episodes of Minder and um, sort of the Sweeney, things just seem to be a lot more easygoing, relaxed, um, sort of freedom of speech seem to be valued more. And people just weren't so concerned about people having to mind their sort of P's and Q's. Um, like I say, probably a little bit too much that way. Things did need to happen uh, to a certain extent. Um, but I think you'll find the contrast really, really stark between how Britain was back then, which we're only talking about four or five decades ago, uh, and now... You, you know, just by watching these uh, shows, it's you'll, you'll see how stark the contrast is. So, um, really, just going back to Dennis Waterman, um, so I've got to thank him for, you know, if he's looking down, uh, so thanks for providing us with two wonderful shows, which really did play a big part in my early life and uh, yeah, he sort of really played a big part in uh, how I grew up and the person I became. And yeah, just really two fantastic shows, probably my two most favorite programs ever. And uh, yeah, rest in peace, Dennis Waterman. And I'll leave you to go and watch those two. I've put a, an episode of the Sweeney and an episode of Minder down below, like I say. Uh, be in the description box and the comment section below. So go and check them out. Tim from Fair Play now. Thanks for watching. Oh, nearly forgot. If you signed up to my email newsletter that I mentioned a couple of days ago when I was talking about Rob's newsletter, I've actually uh, entered uh, all of you guys now, but you'll probably see one of those confirmation 
uh, links in your email. So go and look for it. And if you can't see it in your main email box, inbox, uh, try looking in the spam folder, you know, normal thing. And once you see the email from me, click on the link and then you'll uh, be added. And the email with uh, the link to Rob and his newsletter will be in my newsletter that I send out tomorrow. So I hope that makes sense. And uh, yeah, I'll let you go and do that.